I was I was telling Chase that uh, when I drink tea first thing in the morning, it makes me feel like I have to puke. And you're, so your sister has that as well? Yeah. Um, green tea specifically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that. I've never looked it up, which I, I'm surprised I haven't. But now yeah, I, I want to see. But yeah, it must be a thing. Now we know. Has anyone ever <laughs> puked after tea? <laughs> Being healthy is hard. You know, like, a lot of people, too, can't do the cans of tea. The cold oh, really? cans that they sell like, yeah. at the store. Yeah. Because it makes them puke. Nauseous, as, yeah. Nauseous is the word. Mm-hmm. I keep saying puke. <laughs> but, also, but also puke. Yeah. Anyways, <sighs> it's late enough in the day that... Yeah, okay. we're, we're, we're safe. Okay. You just it's like 6 a.m. You can't drink. Yeah. <laughs> I just start vomiting everywhere. <laughs> I mean, clickbait. <laughs> How many times did it happen that you decided, oh, I can't do this? Probably like five. And then sometimes I'll still try. Oh, wow. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> just once. It was a lot. Okay. Because mm-hmm. it's weird. You wouldn't think it's a thing. <laughs> You're like, it can't be the tea. It's just tea. Five times, yeah, not good. But not I could good. drink a gallon of coffee and with no water for five days I'm and be like, "Woo!" You still drink tea after it's happened in the morning so often. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> you go back <laughs> an afternoon and you're fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, so we haven't seen each other since before the, the quarantine. Pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. In person. Yes. We were saying, yeah, but social media wise we hang out all the time time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) it is weird though how you feel like you see people when i know i know but that's i mean it's almost 2023 oh that's insane i don't like that i forget the years when i write stuff like i'm first of all i keep forgetting how old i am i still right now i'm okay now i got it Uh but i'm (laughs) I know. I don't like to get older. (laughs) I'd like to pretend I forget how old I am. (laughs) I think I want to forget so bad that I actually do, which then in turn makes you feel more old because you can't remember how old. Sometimes someone will ask my age and I'll say younger and then I'm like, oh, wait, oops. (laughs) Actually, I'm not, but I already knew. (laughs) But you whisper the oops. Oh, wait, shit, just kidding. I think this is wrong. Like, oh my God, I forgot. (laughs) It's funny. Ooh, I was going to paint my nails maroon this week. Oh my gosh. Well, I like your color a lot. This is my Halloween nails. Mm -hmm. This is my November. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to go to that. Mm -hmm. The place I go to, they have um, color changing nails. (gasps) It's so fun. Like mood. Yeah. So when you're cold, when you're hot, (gasps) and the maroon one is pink during the day, or, or pink when it's warm, and then maroon when it's hot. Or the opposite. <laughs> Warm and, and hot. hot. Shit. Or just cold. Is what happens Fuck. when it's cold. Cut. <laughs> it's, I think it's pink. <laughs> it's, it's just warm and hot in LA. <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> I was like, how are we going to get this mood coloring if it's always going to be the same color? <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, but pink and maroon. Yes. I'd say maroon is when it's cold. Pink yes. is when it's hot. See, this was a test. <laughs> <laughs> You passed the test. Yay. Yay. (laughs) And Maroon is a title of a track on Taylor Swift's new album. (gasps) I've been listening. Midnight's. Yes. Yeah, I've been listening too. Mm -hmm. I first listened to it at the gym because it first came out. Oh, beautiful. I love it. She's the background on my phone. I love it. I'm a Swifty right now. Oh, I've always been a Swifty. I mean, I go out when, you know, in the I went out for a while. Mm -hmm. I came back. When she did her Miss Americana documentary in 2020. I haven't seen it. Oh, then I was full on Swifty again. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I need to watch it. Yeah, because remember she was kind of unliked for a while. 
because of reputation oh, okay. album and like okay. she like was caught on tape talking to Kanye about like yeah do the song and then she was like oh, this song do you remember this <laughs> no drama? how did I miss that well there was lots of swifty drama i remember people not liking her and she her was like, saying her politi- political <laughs> views for the first time and speaking up yeah she's basically able to speak up for what she wanted <laughs> and then people stopped liking her <laughs> but now everyone's back okay thank yeah. god everyone's back and i'm back as well okay mm-hmm. all right what's your favorite taylor swift album um 1989 okay that's a good one yeah <laughs> Had to go with it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, what are the album news? <laughs> what about yours? Uh, I think probably Fearless, just because I, that's like me going, or Red, mm-hmm. those two. I mean, those two I'm are repeat. amazing. Yeah. When she just did her Red remake. I know. I loved it even more. Me too. Mm-hmm. The first time that I watched, the I was watching SNL when the, she did the, the long, version. yeah. Me too. And I was singing and then I was like, and then it kept going and kept going and kept going. <laughs> I was like, um. I, and I never watch SNL live. I don't know why I was watching that one live, yeah. but I watched that live and was like, this is history. What's I know. happening? I didn't know if I loved it or hated it. I think I was just confused. <laughs> Look how passionate we are about I know. Oh. Oh. oh, man. See what she does to us? We love Taylor. <laughs> uh, all right. So have you thought of your wieners? Mm-hmm. All right, we've got some weekly wieners for you today, and we might have more than one wiener each. We don't know. Well, I have three. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that is a uh, that could record? be a record, a wiener record. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Let's I didn't do know it. which one to do. So I and I really don't know which one to start with, and you can tell me if that's enough. The one I start with. Whatever you want. Do I start or do you start? You take turns, so whatever. You do your wieners, and I'll do my wieners. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want you to go first. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my wiener is, um, did you watch, sometimes mine aren't people. Okay. So mine right now, did you watch the Killer Sally documentary on Netflix? No. All right, just came out. I binged it. What's it? Because that's right up my alley. Oh, it's so good. It's like the new top Netflix one. I so, love a killer documentary. All right, it's a, I it's love Taylor fun. and killer yeah. documentaries. Same thing, same thing. <laughs> Sign me We're up. We're just like checking all the white girl boxes. <laughs> <laughs> we just need our Starbucks. <laughs> oh, uh, so true. Okay. Uh, so this one is about this these two bodybuilders. And I don't want to spoil too much. But uh, the Sally is the female bodybuilder, just to clarify. Okay. <laughs> and she marries another bodybuilder. And the thing that's a wiener about it is every episode, it's from like a different point of view. So episode one, you're like, oh, they're both great people. They love each other. Then episode two, you're like, he sucks. And then episode three, you're like, she sucks. And then episode four, you're like, they suck. They just, they all, they all suck. Got it. But it's a roller coaster of who sucks. But it just shows like exact like reality TV and editing. Like how we're saying you can just change That's so true. Everything. But this one you're like <laughs> I don't know. But is it worth watching? Oh yeah. So is the wiener you didn't like the editing? <laughs> what didn't you like? <laughs> My wiener is how they take you like they basically lie to you. Every episode mm. they're just lying to you so they don't give away the truth. Oh, and you're like, don't say all of this. They just want to drag you through the the all of the episodes. Wow, through the lying. I'm so like, it's a journey. It is a journey, and you wanted to go straight cut to the chase. I mean, we're comedians. We hate people who talk stories. <laughs> Honestly, long. just that could have been a wiener for me too. Don't right? don't tell me a story <laughs> that's going to go on. It. Read a room, you know. It is the worst. So even with like shows, a lot of documentaries I'll start. And they'll just be, I tried starting the space one the other night and I was just like, you're talking too slow. And I turned it off. I was like, no, no, no. Yeah. We're not doing Mm -hmm. that. Um, So I think it's like a real red flag if you can't read a room telling a story. That is, (laughs) that's a crime documentary by itself. Yeah. Slow talkers coming on Netflix. Top 10. Episode one, your next door neighbor. 
<laughs> so true. <laughs> it's awful. Ooh, yeah, it's awful. <laughs> okay, so I see that's why you're that's why it's your wiener. It is it isn't the strongest wiener. Um I go through a lot of wieners. <laughs> Did you have another or do I do we go you back go. and forth? Yeah. Okay. Um well this one was I this happened a couple days ago. I was in New York this week and I checked into the hotel I was staying at at twelve. Mm-hmm. And they get, the guy at the front desk just was a sass. Ooh. But that's New York, you okay. know. Yeah. But he was sassy and he was like, well, I need your credit card. And I was like, well, it's already paid for. And he was like, no, that was a reservation, blah, 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 blah. And I had to call someone, get it all figured out. And he was in the wrong. I was in the right. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, oops, getting a text. Um, and then he goes, well, you can't check in yet. Check-in's at four. And it was 12 o'clock. And I hadn't slept. I had taken a train that morning, like super oh, early. And I was like, well, is I, is there a possibility I'll be able to get in before four? It was mm-hmm. 12 o'clock. Okay. And there usually is. Usually there is. Mm-hmm. Not today. Busy day. <sighs> Better luck next time. Like, oh, he no. He was awful. So to be passive aggressive, <laughs> I sat in the lobby. They had chairs. And I sat in the lobby and fell asleep on their chairs in the lobby f- with him watching me sleeping. And I think I drooled. <laughs> and I was like, is that going to show him? Might as well put me in a room so I'm not sleeping mm-hmm. in the lobby. <laughs> you just start fake snoring really loud. I was so mad. But that was me being passive aggressive. I don't know if it was <laughs> passive aggressive. But I, I was so mad I slept in the lobby. I think, hey, it's a safe place to sleep. You can prove your point but that's fucked up and also just doing that it can be like maybe this guy who's clearly hates himself and his job will have some sympathy towards you oh and then i didn't even mention this then it's time to check in it's four o'clock and they're like okay here's your room key i go upstairs they're like we're bringing your bags to you i had to get ready for a show and it had been an hour and my bags still weren't there and I was calling the front desk. They weren't answering. I went downstairs in a huff. <laughs> I didn't even have shoes on. And I said, hi, like, where are my, I, I, I was told my bags are coming up. And they're like, well, where's your the card that tells us? And I was like, I gave it to you an hour ago. And they were like, oh, we don't know. Blah, blah. And they were like, well, we'll bring them up to you now. And I said, no. I'm going to get them smart right now from you. And I didn't tip them. And I grabbed the bags and I went upstairs. I was <laughs> in a huff. Fire, flames. And I know I still came off very polite and nice. But to me, I was like, I showed them. <laughs> That's so funny. I feel that <laughs> way. Sometimes I'll apologize to people. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just like in a bad mood. And they're like, but you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, or I'll like say to my friend, I'm like, oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I can't believe I just treated that person like that. And they're like, you were that's very so, polite. So I am too. I like think I'm being really mm-hmm. mean, but I'm like, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if they saw me nice, they would know that was me being mean. Yeah. Oh my god, I have the perfect. All right, I thought of another wiener okay. that just happened, and then I got called out. Not called out. Then I was telling this to two of my friends. And then they laughed at the m- me being okay. Let's mean. hear it. This is okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm at the gym. It's like five thirty p.m. Mm-hmm. Rush hour at the gym. Oh, what a crazy person to go at that time. Yeah. <laughs> that is the only time I could have gone. So I'm doing my thing, and I follow a fitness program. So I just know what to do. It's a lot easier. Love that. Um, move with us, bodies by Rachel. Check it out. She's great. Uh, so I have to go to this one machine. It's next. It's on my list. I got to do my do list. I like to do it in order. I go out. Anyways. So I'm like, oh, it's open. Perfect. It's just that little pulley rope thing. Mm -hmm. And I go to grab it. And this girl that's at the machine that's connected to it, like here, and this is here. She goes, I'm using that. And I'm like, you're on that. Like in my head, of course, yeah. in my head. I mean, I wouldn't have said that out loud. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So I go like, by me saying, but you're using that, was just me going. You just looked. Looked at it. Mm-hmm. And then I looked at that one. And then I looked back at her. 
you know, like a real bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I said, okay. And then I looked one more time at the machine I wanted. And then like a real bitch, I left. <laughs> That gets a wiener. She's right? a wiener. You can't use two machines at the same time. Oh my god, I would have done the exact same thing <laughs> and been like, okay, but like it was yeah. so mean. Oh, I looked so How- mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so she. Uh, so funny. She'll never come back to that gym. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> you showed her. I did. I did. Oh, that's so good. Uh, but yeah, it's like you can't. Of course, you want if you got like your super set. You got it's back and forth. No, it, or at least do it until someone asks for it, and then it's then a gym. It, yeah, it's not your home private gym. No. <sighs> That's yeah. I'm fuming. I am. I'm fuming. I am livid right now. <laughs> we need to play some Taylor Swift to calm me oh down. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I thought of that one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I have another one, but do we move on or do I? We share? could do one more wiener. Um. Well, okay. I have two more. So you tell me which one: a boy okay. one or a, a bad audience one. Okay. Can we, let's just do let's just go crazy let's do all the wieners okay it's like, okay i'll make it really fast it's okay the audience one quick basically i was hosting in new york this weekend and there was a big table i think they were all from new jersey oh no Ugh. and um i'm just I'm yeah kidding we're, kidding. Well. we're kidding <laughs> we're kidding we're <laughs> kidding i'm from florida <laughs> <laughs> They were talking so loud mm-hmm. to the point that I didn't even mean to be rude, but I stopped in the middle of my sentence, you know, like an angry teacher. Yeah. And I stopped and I looked and then I realized that came off very harsh and I was like, oh, <laughs> so, uh, um, <clears throat> you, <laughs> I said, you are talking really loud you can keep talking during my set, but you can't do that the rest of the set. And I tell you the energy in the room shifted so much because I I think I come off really nice. And that was me being like, mm mm mm. And all of a sudden the the energy shifted and I it took like ten minutes for me to get the crowd back. It was like no laughs for a while. Oh my you can feel this insane it's like the eye of a storm like a oh, when the when the mood switches and everyone is always a collective yeah it's insane it was so hard to get them back on my side because they were on my side and then I was like uh 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 and then I lost them and I was in my head the rest of the set going like man I they hate me that was so rude of me to call them out but uh, the wiener is the New Jersey table. Yeah. Because they were talking like as if they were at their own private party that's, and there was no one on stage. No. Yeah. So then that's the wieners. That is. Oh, I say this every time. A wiener, a big old wiener is that people that those people that do they're in the wrong and then they make you in the wrong. Yes. And that's exactly what happened. I and, hate that. And you're in New York. And I had, the only time I had friends at a show was that show. Of course. Of course. There's always the friend curse. If you're our friends, don't come see don't us. Don't come. Don't come. We don't, we want, don't want you, you to there. Come. We don't want no. you there. I know you're being nice. Yeah. We, and you want to support us. We don't want you there. So when you text us, <laughs> when you're your shows and we don't reply. It's because we don't, we don't want, want you there. there. <laughs> <laughs> but if we don't know you. It's um, fine. We what's your website? It. Where your show's at? <laughs> jaseodonnell.com oh you got your name yeah nice do some you, people don't do I, have, <laughs> I have my name yeah, too yeah, yeah. mandymartino.com there's not that many chase o'donnell's or mandy martino's i guess we're right yeah yeah thank god john smith everywhere you know what i mean mm-hmm. obama <laughs> <laughs> oh that website's taken that's taken <laughs> um i'm sorry yeah. that happened that sucks yeah that was a wiener moment oh and i hate when you're in your head during it 
it makes it we least, know our set so yeah. we can say it without no like our brain doesn't have to be there mm-hmm. our brain somewhere else and we're talking just go robot mode yeah and i'm just like oh god they hate me they hate me they hate me, they hate me. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of insane the amount of full conversations you could have with yourself on stage while saying your set yes there's like <laughs> two parts of your brain working it's weird it's insane and i'm aware we're aware of it yeah I'm like how are these words coming out right now because i'm not <laughs> thinking what i'm saying it's pretty mm. cool well that is you're hitting wiener home runs you ready to take it home with the yeah. third wiener here's the last wiener i was on hinge and i was talking to this guy and he was saying like oh he's not feeling that well but he'd love to get a drink with me that would make him feel better okay okay so it was <laughs> listen good good start (laughs) he was cute and i think if you're cute Mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what you say i was excited so don't get ahead of yourself (laughs) you cuties you freaking cuties (laughs) get him in line so (laughs) i was excited that he was like let's get a drink so he was like any places you have in mind and i was like oh cool yeah we can do this spot and then he's like great And then I'm like, how's this time? And then he didn't write back for an hour. And we had been like in constant. And in that hour, I was like, I guess I get ready. Mm -hmm, Because it was pretty much set. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. Like, it's getting late. Let me just be ready in case. Mm -hmm. And then an hour later, I send a question mark because I'm like, okay, this is. An hour is enough. You need to know where you're going. It's enough. And then he goes, oh, you meant tonight? And I I was like, ha ha, boy, did I read that wrong? Like, yeah, it, I read back the conversation. It was very much, we're getting a drink tonight. <laughs> and then he said, like, let's rain check. And I was like, great. And he was like, don't talk about me in your stand up or whatever. Oh, game over, fuck face. Yeah, and I said, I'll only talk about you if you don't reschedule drinks with me. And uh, <laughs> he never rescheduled drinks with me, so he's getting talked about and he's a wiener. Oh, my God. Well, we'll definitely post this. <laughs> Mr. John Smith, cutie batootie fuck face. <laughs> Hope you have a small wiener, yo wiener. Yo wiener. Oh, that's a solid red flag, though. Woo! Yeah. You don't need it. You don't yeah. need him. Oh God, no! I mean, and if he, if he had like been like, oh my God, let's get ske- reschedule it for this date at this time, great. But if he's like, we'll just reschedule, no. In the O, oh, you thought it. That's gonna be the guy that no matter if he's wrong, will b- make you feel like you're the one in the How wrong. How embarrassing! You meant tonight. <laughs> That's such a dick thing to say. And I just tried to go back to the conversation to be like, I'm not crazy, but he has since unmatched me. So there's no way for me to see. (laughs) He's really worried. I'm going to talk about him. Ah, I can't wait. Do you have a picture of him? Can we just put up his face? I probably do. (laughs) He's a cutie. (laughs) That's so funny. That's another exactly what I'm saying. Wieners make you feel like you're crazy and you just have to be level-headed enough to know you're not. You're not. Oh, yeah. You know? You're not. Yeah. We're not crazy. We're not not crazy. Okay, so those were my wieners and thank you for letting me share them all. Those were such good wieners. Thank you for sharing them. Oh, good. Yours too. (laughs) Oh, that bitch. What a good exercise to like think about the wieners of the week. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sometimes I have more wieners than others. You have to hear, um, you know, Macy Isaacs. Yeah, she had the craziest wiener. Hers was just and it. We, we kept trying to get her on and we kept having to reschedule. And this happened right like two days before she came. And we're like, this is why this dude like is a dick in the parking garage mm-hmm. and then was super misogynistic as Anyways, she couldn't get out because another car has this guy moves the car for her, the valet guy, after a bunch of people not just having patience. She's standing out and the guy looks at her and goes, sings, this is a man's world. (laughs) I know. I was in shock. Like, your wieners are funny. We could say fuck them. But her wiener, I was like, Macy, I am so sorry that happened to you. We had the same. (laughs) Yeah. 
I know. Our breath. I know. (laughs) It's like, oh my God. Wieners. Wow. Man. Man. Well, you're that dude though. He's going to be a lifetime hinger, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Well, he either unmatched me or he's off hinge now and found a girl. So I don't never know. I think those guys like the attention from multiple people. Yeah. He's a lifetime hinger. A lifetime hinger. I mean, I think. At the moment, I might be a lifetime <laughs> injured, but I don't know. We can't promise No anything. way. Not at all. Because now I'm coming across guys I've seen in the past. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, embarrassing. They're still on there, but that's what they're saying about me, I'm sure. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, so I'm worried the guys are seeing me and like, oh, I'm still? She's still on No here. way. Okay. You're well, awesome. You don't have to worry about it. The right one will come along. Picky. Yeah. Picky's good. <laughs> we don't have time to waste. We're busy working women. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's raining in LA today and we're doing something. So I, that is such a rare sentence that it's raining in LA today. I know. It's like, cool, we can say it. It sounds like a, a Nora Roberts book mm, it's, it's raining, raining in, in la today, today. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rainy it was like it was a really sunny morning <laughs> like what <laughs> it's true mm, okay. um do you ever i i used to love reading like romantic books when i was younger or like mm-hmm. maybe like college mm-hmm. yeah i just read one this summer called the royals next door exactly those kind of books mm-hmm. was it good so good. Ooh, I should look it up. The royal family moved in next door to, to- this school teacher. <laughs> what? But she starts to have a thing with the bodyguard. No way. Not the prince. Not Well, the prince is, it's pretty much Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Okay. Um, but the bodyguard's like super hot. And no. she has a thing with him. But he's a bodyguard. He can't be hot. He's probably just a big ugly guy. <laughs> He was hot. Whoa. Mm -hmm. When you picture, I like when I read books like that because how you picture the guy. I know. Versus then the movie comes out and you're like, totally. I just not. Well, even the way she described the bodyguard, I didn't think was cute. So I had to put a different guy in my head. It's like sex. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. (laughs) It's a good exercise. You just picture someone else. (laughs) <laughs> uh, okay you get it okay yeah, yeah. um so do you want to start off with a miserable moment embarrassing moment type of thing that you did not make into a joke or one that you did make into a joke mm, one that I didn't make into a joke um and I'm debating between two can I give you the topics and then you tell me which one is better for the show yeah of course but they're all good like a high school embarrassing story or like a career embarrassing story? Oh, I want to hear both. Um, high school. And then if we have time, we'll do the other one. Okay. In high school. Um, <laughs> <laughs> high school's got to be good. <laughs> I wasn't cool. Okay. Kay. I was like a real goody two shoes. I like obsessed with Disney Channel, like a really good kid. Look at my jacket. <laughs> Did you see? (laughs) Wearing a Mickey Mouse jacket. I'm cool too. (laughs) All my friends, like I had a really good group of friends, but they were at my dance studio. They weren't in high school. I had like one (laughs) friend. Okay. So anyways, I was late to school every day because it was early. Mm -hmm. It was like I had a zero period class at 6 a.m. So I was late every day. (laughs) And I was getting detention all the time. What's a zero period class? It means you have a class before first period so that some days of the week you can get out at 12 instead of three. Oh, okay. So you start earlier and end earlier. Mm -hmm. Not worth it because (laughs) let me tell you, I was getting up at 5 a.m. And I was late every day. And I, a lot of kids who had zero period, their teachers didn't like care if they were late because it was so early. My teacher was vigilant about it. Okay. So I got so much detention that, and again, I'm a good kid, okay? This, yeah, sh- this is I normal. Didn't, I didn't need to be in detention. <laughs> um, I got so much detention, I had to do Saturday detention, which Ooh. is where all the bad kids Any go. Any hotties? 
<laughs> probably <laughs> they were like all the guys that were dark eyeliner oh. like, you know like they were druggies like yeah. these were these were cool kids oh really real cool. real cool whoa and so i had dance rehearsals every saturday and i couldn't do saturday detentions and I go into the first Saturday detention and my mom walked me in. <laughs> All the way in? All the way in. <laughs> and I'm in ballet clothes. <laughs> no and, way. And I ha- I went, I pretended like I didn't know her. I go to the other side <laughs> of the room. Past She's all. like, Chase. She did. Yeah. <laughs> she talks to the person like, my daughter's Clara in the Nutcracker and she can't do this. And then she goes, Chase. <laughs> Chase, I got you out of detention. Let's go. <laughs> Which is miserable. <laughs> and I had to walk past everybody back through. Okay. So the school didn't know what to do because like here I am a Saturday detention kid unable to do Saturday detentions. So they had to come up with a unique like special detention just for me. Wow. That wasn't really detention because <laughs> nobody else had to do it. Just me. And the detention I was given was every day after school for like six weeks. I had to ride around with the custodian in like his golf cart. What? After school and pick up trash with the custodian. Just me and the custodian. <laughs> that is so random. It, they had The school didn't know what to do because I couldn't attend detention and I had <laughs> so much detention. And so nobody knew that I was in detention picking up trash with the custodian they thought me and the custodian were buds and every day after school i hung out with the custodian and like rode around in the golf cart what? isn't that humiliating <laughs> <laughs> because again i wasn't like i was popular and owning it i was like <laughs> driving around with the custodian and i remember like i think i blacked out a lot of it but i remember waving at this one kid and in the golf cart in the golf cart i was like (laughs) and he saw me but he didn't wave back and i remember i had to tell myself don't wave to anybody ever again (laughs) so that was a miserable sitch that um i never (laughs) turned into a joke (laughs) but i feel like there's potential there for a joke for sure but i don't know i don't know there is because it's something that no one else can say yeah, you know, <laughs> I just think it's so embarrassing that people didn't know it was detention. That was the problem. If yeah, it was like a known thing that detention is going around with the custodian. <laughs> they just thought we were best friends. They're like, she doesn't have any friends here. Right? Yeah, she, thought, she found the custodian. Was he been... cool? No. <laughs> did he feel like he did it feel like he didn't want you there? Probably. I think so. <laughs> just like, who is? OK. Yeah. I, I mean. I guess it's nice of the school to make you not do the Saturdays in a way because they could have just been like, I didn't need to do detention. I just don't think I needed to do detention. And for that long, too? (laughs) Jeez. Yeah. Huh. That's what I've talked about this one before. I was briefly say, but I've wanted to make into a joke like from high school that I was in marching band in ninth grade and no one in my high school knew. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I hit it. <laughs> so I was like babysitting or like can't make it to the game. Oh. And I'm like on the field like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh my God, no one found out. And then like one kid I walked by once walking the field and he was like, Mandy? <laughs> I was like. <laughs> oh no uh, no <laughs> this is a prank isn't this crazy isn't this crazy <laughs> it's not funny though like now we would own it yeah but you're too young at that age or like i don't know some kids were able to like own stuff but like now if i was driving around with the custodian i'd love it we'd mm-hmm. have fun it would be whatever <laughs> It's cool that I'm doing, but at that time you you're just in shame mm-hmm. and just like oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Pure just panic mode. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like social self defense. Yeah. <laughs> I do yeah. not miss being an awkward teenager. Oh my god, neither do I. I overthought everything. Is that why you think you do comedy? Probably. I think high school has a big reason why I'm funny (laughs) because I had to be because 
Otherwise, I think I'd be like really depressed. Yeah, I don't know what I, I had to like laugh about all these humiliating situations. <laughs> so many things. It was one after the other in That's high school. Exactly why I did this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I've, I, I, I wrote a pilot called Misery Loves Mandy. And then I was like, I want to make a podcast. I want to just keep harping on it because it's how you get through anything. Yes. One time in high school, I was skipping class and I hid in the, it's like the cheerleaders or baton something. I think I was skipping band class. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to be here. And then I go hide in this room, but then I have to pee. And I'm like, shit, I can't go out because I'll get caught that I'm skipping class. So then I piss myself. <laughs> Oh my god! Because I was holding Wait, it, and I fully age? high school, you know, <laughs> <laughs> ninth grade. Uh oh, yeah, not good. So I fully not pissed good. my pants as I'm like panicking, and then I just soak the whole pants in the sink, and then walk out with just dripped pants. And you're just like, oops, fell into a puddle. <laughs> I don't know what I did next. I blacked that out too. I mean, I don't know the next step. Yeah, because it's not funny <laughs> like you think just getting your entire pants wet <laughs> will be less noticeable than just a little bit. I just watched Silicon Valley for the first time. I just finished mm. it. And there was an episode where he leans against the sink and it soaks here. <laughs> so then he does the same thing. Really? You're like, oh. I was- <laughs> oh, I couldn't have been like <laughs> one out of five people who could relate to that. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, I... I kn- I was in a play once where I had to be the, like in the script, I was the tannest girl Mm -hmm. and I'm very pale. (laughs) So the one and only time I've ever gotten spray tans was like this time for this play. (laughs) And it's like a shower. You stand and you're getting spray tanned Mm -hmm. and um, I pee in the shower sometimes. So do I. It's it's like. No shame. No shame. You got to do it sometimes. It feels great. It's easy. (laughs) <laughs> and the, it's like a shower and I had to pee so bad and I couldn't hold it. No. And I peed <laughs> while I was getting spray tan. And for a month, I had <laughs> like I was tan everywhere. And then I had two like long lines all the way down my leg where I peed. Because <laughs> it goes all the way to your ankle. Yeah, it just was pee. <laughs> two pee lines. And I, (laughs) no way. Yeah, so it was like there for for good for a while that I peed in the spray tan. Oh my God, did they find out? The spray tan people didn't find out because there's a drain. It's like a shower. Mm. Um, But I I told the story a lot. People were like, what's that? (laughs) Oh, I peed while I was getting spray tan. Oh man. So don't pee while you're getting a spray tan. That's a tough one. That's like when I'm in a dressing room. It happens a lot. And I'm like, I think I might just piss in this dressing room right now. <laughs> That's Panic. not even a shower. That's no. just... I haven't, luckily. It's just a closet. It's just a closet. But, yeah. but That's so funny. I haven't written a joke about that either. You should. Yeah. See, some of these moments are hard. You have to kind of get one joke. You got to do like, like, what are we doing? Telling a moth story or are we doing stand-up? Because <laughs> it's more difficult to make... Like every 10 seconds, a punchline with these stories. Yeah. And then you have to find like random ones like that where they fit into. <sighs> yeah. And then you could do like a quick one. Yeah, you're right. That this... reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, okay. You know, back to the... I piss in this self tanning booth. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like interesting with stand up. I find like with friends and whatever tell- telling stories, it's like ha ha ha. But on stage, when you tell a story about yourself like that, you're like, look how funny I am aren't I funny? Mm -hmm. I did this. And it doesn't translate as well. It feels hacky. It feels like you're just telling them what a funny person you are instead of like, I don't know. I've had a tough time translating stories like that to stand up. Same. Because I don't know. I guess I've done a couple, like I have a joke about how I peed, I blacked out leaving Vegas and I peed Spirit Airlines. I've heard this story. But that's just like, once again, like, for example, that is just a little joke at the end yeah. of a bigger joke. <laughs> so it's like I just tagged it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. It what is. a tough career. Uh, huh? <laughs> you know, ugh, what can you say? What can you say? Oh, this is just got like, green tea and puke everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Anyways, that's a good challenge, though. I say it's hard and I should try to actually make them jokes. Mm-hmm. I'll write my band joke. Yes, then, that's a. I can't believe that's not a joke already. I, don't know. I was in band and nobody knew it <laughs> ever. 
I was always busy. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> babysitting. But <sighs> I think the golf cart one is the same. Like, I feel like those are like the same high school embarrassing, like, Mm-hmm. No one else really has those stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do we write it? <laughs> oh, that's the fun part. <sighs> yeah, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> so then, let me see. Hmm. I guess we'll go into. I guess we'll go into when you made into a joke, and then you just have to come back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you to lunch next time. We'll okay. Get wild. Okay. Um, one I turned into a joke that I'm still like honestly like some of it is a joke and some of it I haven't been able to. Mm-hmm. But when I worked on Curb Your Enthusiasm, I was taking care of Larry David. That's so cool. And <laughs> I know it's very cool and I was like Uh, I am a huge fan of Larry David. So I took the job very seriously and they told me that I had to like know where Larry was at all times. (laughs) And (laughs) that's terrifying. I thought like that meant I I learned later that means like you can be in video village, but kind of like, no, he walked over there. I walked everywhere. I just followed him everywhere (laughs) he went. And um, this is a curb episode. (laughs) No. And I even when I was like thinking about details of this story, I was outside his hotel <laughs> no. hotel room when we were filming on location <laughs> and he came out of the hotel room and I was right there. What did he do? He said, are you stalking me? No. And I said, no. And that was <laughs> Oh, my God. And then he went to <laughs> the ADs on set and he said, you need to tell Chase to stop stalking me. Mm-hmm. And um, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is the joke is I say, Larry David said this. He knows my name. That's like the joke. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, the, so like they were like, Chase, like Larry wants you to stop like <laughs> following him everywhere. So, but I still had to know, I still had to know where he was. So you got to keep your job. Just I, had, I got to keep my job. Um, I just had to like rework how I was <laughs> knowing him. where he was. So, <laughs> so like the next, now we're on a different location. He has his trailer and I knocked on his trailer to be like five minutes, Larry. And then I had, you know, as soon as he steps out of the trailer, my job is to go, um, okay, Larry stepped out. He's walking to set, right? (laughs) So like, I just have to know what's going Mm -hmm. on. And I didn't want him to think I was stalking him. And I, there was like a big um, (laughs) bush, like a big bush. (laughs) And I stood behind it because that's not stalkery. And I stood behind the bush and I'm thinking he won't see me here. (laughs) And he got out of his trailer (laughs) And he's walking down, it's like an alley, and I'm in the bush, and he's walking, and he looks at me, he sees <laughs> in me. In the bush? I feel like I could have done something. I could have been like, that's, that's where I dropped my phone. <laughs> but I, but no, I stood there, and we just made eye contact as he walked by, and he was like, and I was just like, oh and we... God stared at each other for a good like 10 seconds as he walked by and I just <laughs> pretended that I was, I was just behind it was like the Simpsons bush like that's, exactly that people meme. have sent that to me because mm-hmm. that's what I was doing oh <laughs> and um so I feel like that was the peak of my stalking Larry David um, I didn't get fired. I but we just have a very interesting relationship, the two of us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and like I'll, I, I'll see. I don't know. Like we were on an elevator, and I just like put my head down because I don't want to bother him. Mm-hmm. Go, hello. You know, so I never know what to do mm-hmm. if I'm. And I'm like, oh hi. So like, you know, we're friends, but. <laughs> That's crazy. But I'm but he thinks I'm so um <laughs> weird. I don't know what the word is. Cause there's a picture that was taken when I I had to leave early from set to do a stand-up 
competition at Flappers. It was one of those Uncle Clyde shows. Mm-hmm. And I, I won the night before. So um, I told the ADs I won because I wanted to thank them for letting me leave early. Mm-hmm. And news spread on set <laughs> that I had won a stand-up show. <laughs> and the director walked me up to Larry David and said, Larry Chase won this stand-up show. And someone took a picture of this. And his face is like, like so concerned because he because I'm he he couldn't believe I did stand up that I could talk that I was like a normal person (laughs) and he was just like I'm so glad I have the picture for proof that he's just out of his mind like what you you do stand up because I couldn't talk to him I was so weird around him and yeah that's my miserable story i that is such a good story oh good oh my oh, god good. okay that was one i was debating i have lots of miserable stories oh i'm glad so, you did that one okay. holy shit that is like you were your high school self right <laughs> in that mo- in those moments hiding in the bush like that's that's that feeling right there yes it's totally exactly that yeah i've never lost high school <laughs> chase <laughs> oh <sighs> well, i don't even know but i think maybe now that he knows you do stand up it probably explains everything because when someone's a stand up it's like everything just makes more sense you're like oh, okay <laughs> Well, he told me, he said, uh, he gave me advice, comic to comic. And and he said, um, don't talk about me in your shows. Don't talk about me. Oh, no. That was his advice to me. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. So... So, well, we didn't talk about this no. today. Mm-mm, mm-mm, <laughs> not at all. Um, wow. I'm mind blown. First of all, cool he didn't fire you. If he was really like, you know, I feel like a lot of A-listers would be like, let's swap them out. I mean, the the it's wild to me. They had me taking care of Larry David. I'm not good around celebrities. <laughs> I'm starstruck. They needed someone that's cool, that's chill. And I was taking care of not just Larry, but every actor on the show. Wow. So it was like Clive Owen and and uh, John, what's his name? All of them. Oh, All of the actors. John Smith. No. <laughs> <laughs> John Hamm. And um, it was just like every A-list actor that, has uh, Vince Vaughn and every, everyone I was taking care of and I, they they shouldn't have had me in that <laughs> role because I was so nervous <gasps> every day and before I'd knock on trailers I'd practice I'd, I'd have to practice going five minutes and that's all <laughs> that's all I had to say it's like Mary Kevin Gallagher in <laughs> in the mirror hi my name is Mary Kevin Gallagher yeah <laughs> I'd literally stand on the step before knocking, <laughs> rehearse it, and then knock because if I didn't rehearse, I'd get tongue tied mm-hmm. and get very nervous talking to them. I feel like actors, maybe I would care less, but Larry David is like a god to all of us. Larry David's a god. He's <laughs> the creator of Seinfeld. He's the reason I wrote and did all of the Misery Loves Mandy because I heard him. <laughs> he he said I took notes of real things that happened to me for Seinfeld. I wrote them down, like the eclair in the trash can, like that happened to him. Uh And then like probably like six years ago now, I started notes in my phone. Every time something miserable would happen, I'd write it down. And I was like, Larry David. Oh my God, it's because of Larry. Larry. Everyone loves Larry. You know the book Tuesdays with Maury? Mm -mm. Mm-mm. It's a classic um, about this, this guy who would go talk to Maury on Tuesdays. I, I want to write a book called Tuesdays with Larry. You should. And just all my experiences. <laughs> May call it Lynn's Days with Larry. Like a day with an L that's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Maury is in a, a T. No, it's not. Lynn's Days with Larry. <laughs> I thought it was like. <laughs> <laughs> I say every episode, I sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, Tuesdays with Tori. Like I thought it would be Tori. fun if it, met, if it, if it matched. Yeah. But yeah. You should do that. He'd love it. He'd love it. I mean, he would just love it. <laughs> he would really. He'd be like, please. 
Uh, mm. I remember, I don't remember what I, where he said this on, but he was like, people who want to get to know me or like or fans of mine, you don't trust me. You don't want to meet me. You don't. <laughs> it's like, you'll be, you'll be let down. <laughs> like pretty much saying, I'm not going to just so be funny. like nice, nice to you. Oh. Which we need to be more like Larry. Totally. That's what we need. Totally. Because we've, I've been like in a situation if we're like at a show and s- someone comes into the green room to ask for our orders or whatever mm-hmm. that's essentially what i was doing and so i've been in the position he's in and nobody likes it when the person is like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> what can i do for you? Yeah. like i it's uncomfortable it's that, uncomfortable yeah. and you just need to chill you just need to chill out yeah well why do you hear the rain yeah, it sounds nice. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. The kicker is the full circle is I'm filming, I'm I'm playing a part on the show next Wednesday. <gasps> Congrats! And I don't know, I don't know what it will be like when I see Larry. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You have to text me and let I'm me know. I'm not taking care of you anymore. <laughs> now we're on it together. <sighs> are you gonna, are you done with that one job? And um, we, I'm, yeah, I'm no longer like, full time but i i told them because they're now filming this season i told them like if they ever need a day player or if i can come help like here and there but i can't do it full time but being a day player oh my god what good that's what you're you're just doing is that the same thing what you're doing oh no no like a day player pa Oh, I thought you meant like... But I am. I am acting on the show yeah. next week. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's a much bigger deal. That is the biggest deal. <laughs> I have my fitting tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, um, and they had me on the show last season. Uh, I was working on the show and then they like put me in some scenes, but they cut me out. Oh, I was w- like, I watched it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You wouldn't have seen me. Darn it. But uh, when they cast me this season, the... AD texted me after and he goes Jeff promises he's not going to cut you out this time <laughs> and that's the director so they say I won't get cut Woo! out this season. fingers crossed you never know you can also see her in um psycho stripper psycho on stripper <laughs> <laughs> Psycho um, stripper and curb your enthusiasm yeah. are my two credits. <laughs> Let me tell you what a perk working on curb your enthusiasm, because that's truly the reason I'm gonna be on the show. It really helps who you know. Psycho you. killer? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm gonna stripper. be on curb? Yeah, is because I know everyone because I worked on the show, mm-hmm. and I don't know. That's that's just. A, a testament to it's who you know in this business it is it's and so you, crazy. you did your dues you were put through very embarrassing <laughs> moments you were hiding in bushes i think you own that spot more than anyone else on the entire <laughs> show true. well i didn't tell them for a very long time that i did comedy because i didn't want them to think mm-hmm. i was like working on the show to be on the show i would have overthought and done that same yeah. exact thing but it ended up working out so and i'll let pro- you know how it goes <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming over. Yay! Wee! 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 We've got so many more <laughs> moments that we have to hear from her. So Yes, if you will have me back, I will gladly tell so many more stories. <laughs> Start writing down your wieners. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>